close. Yeah, but now someone's got to go and get the ball. All right, lads, I'm going in. Phew, I'm in. Henry, what are you doing inside school during break time? I, uh, I'm looking for Mr. Soggington. Oh, well then, that's very useful. Huh? When you find him, you can give him a message from me. Please tell him that I can't meet him at lunchtime now. We'll have to meet after school. Henry! And just what do you think you're doing, lad? Um... Getting my ball back? Well, that's where you're wrong, Lena. I'll be having that. Your ball is now my ball. No! Yes! Now, run along, lad. But... Oh, I I've got a message for you, sir. Have you now? Yeah, it's from Miss Oddbod. Miss Oddbod, you say? Yes, sir. She said that she wants to meet you after school. She said that? She wants to meet me after school? Uh, yeah, that's what she said. At last. Can I go now, sir? Oh, yes, sir. Off you go, lad. Yes! Psst. Henry. I've got a message for you to deliver. Oh, right. It's for Miss Oddbod. Ah, oh, right. Tell her I was thinking of trying out a new restaurant. <laughs> Teachers can be so weird. Henry, get back into class now. But I'm delivering a message for Mr Soggington. Oh, really? Mr Soggington? What did he say? Um, he said he wants to try out a new restaurant. Oh, my. Did he say when? Um, after school, I think. But, uh-oh, why do I get the feeling that everything's just about to go very wrong? Pay attention, Henry. Everyone may leave except Henry. It's not what you've done, Henry. It's what you're about to do. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Oh, there you are, Ralph. Listen, I can't come tonight because... It's OK, Henry. I know all about it. Oh, OK, cool. But I won't let you down on the big day, I promise. Um, yeah, I know that. Henry, a word now, please. Hey, guys, meet your new lead singer. Who? Me! Band practice will be at my treehouse, six o'clock sharp. Make sure you're there on time. Oh, it's all right. I can explain. When I'm king, homework will be listening to music really loudly. Come on. Playing computer games. Looks like Ralph. Oh, it can't be. Why would Ralph be sneaking into Margaret's treehouse? But I guess I'm not going to be king for a long time. So, I'm just going to have to get used to doing my homework. I said, did a letter come for me today? No. Did a letter come for me today, Mum? No. Why? Written back to me. I only really wanted to know 
homework. You don't have to tell me about brushing your teeth if you don't want to. Yours disappointedly, Henry. <sighs> Who was your biggest fan? in three days' time. Do you think I don't know that? Uh, do you think we're going to be ready to perform? Of course we're going to be ready to perform. Otherwise, my name's not Margaret Millicent Mordia Smythe. Is it? No. Now, take five while I warm up. Again. La, 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 la. Hang on a minute. That looks like Henry's writing. Yeah, Ed Banger, mean, horrible parents. I have to stay in every night to do my homework. <laughs> I'm ready for my solo. I don't think so, Margaret Millicent Mordita Smythe. Time to pack up, boys. Hey? We're out of here. Got to post a letter for Henry. You what? So easy being me. I'm But I just don't see why we need a new one. Well, you see... Henry! Well, you see nothing. We don't need a new one and that's that. But... No buts! <sighs> Do you have any idea where my mobile phone is? Oh, uh, where did you have it last? Oh, for goodness sake. If I knew where I had it last, then I'd know where it is, wouldn't I? Shh. What's going on? They're having one of their arguments. Oh, that's not an argument. That's a discussion. Whatever it is, we're not getting a new one. Well, that's probably because we don't need a new one. Don't need a new what? Whatever it is they're discussing. Oh, welcome to my life. Whoa, forgot my goodest gold book. Henry! Yes, Mum? Oh, there you are. Looking for your mobile phone, Mum? Oh, yes. Thank you, Henry. Now, what have I done with the car keys? Oh, honestly, I'd forget my head if it wasn't on top of my shoulders. See you later. Don't forget me, Mum! Dad, can I stay home today? I'm not feeling... Yes, of course, Henry. No problem. Yes! Don't you have to go to work today, Dad? Uh, no, not today. I've, uh, got a late meeting. Oh, OK, cool. Time for a snack, I reckon. Uh, Fancy a snack, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, thank you. I'll get the old one. <gasps> the old what, Dad? What are you doing here, Henry? You said I could stay home, remember? Did I? Yes, cos... <laughs> I'm not feeling very... Go back up to your room, then. But I need a... If you're not well, Henry, you need to be in bed. But I'm hungry. Are you going to answer that? <sighs> Just don't tell your mother. I won't. Oh, uh, can I help? <coughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear what you're saying. <coughs> is that what I think it is? Nope, sorry. Still can't hear you. I, uh, in here, please. It is what I think it is. We're getting a new TV. Can't believe Dad did that. This is turning out to be the best day ever. Class Zero comic into the bin.
Oh, yeah. Tidy my room. Good job, Henry. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mum, can I read you a story from my Number Gnomes Know How comic? Of course you can, Honey Bunny. Dad, would you like to hear the story too? Uh, oh, uh, yes, of course I would, Peter. Morning, everyone! Afternoon, Henry. I've tidied my room. And? And now I'm going to read my comic. And, Henry? You've still got the toilet rolls to do. Thanks for nothing, world. <laughs> Shall I? I would if I were you, Henry. So, this story is called Number Nine Number Gnomes Revenge. Peter, uh, very much. Mom, are you enjoying my story? Of course I am, my lovely little lumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> but number gnome number three didn't think this was a good idea, so he went to find number gnome number two. This doesn't really add up, old chap, does it? <laughs> oh, do you get the joke? This doesn't add up. <laughs> it's a number gnome joke. Henry! Henry! Don't be horrid, Henry. But I've done the toilet rolls. <sighs> well, I suppose two out of three ain't bad. So now I'm going to read my comic. Not so fast, Henry. Got it, Mum! He's fast. Thank you, Peter. It's so easy being me. I'm And Mum says happy hippos are happy all of the time. Really? And how does she know that? Mum knows everything. I bet she doesn't know that the happy hippos are really weird werewolves in disguise. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Think about it, Peter. Have you ever seen happy hippos at night? Well, no, but that's because I'm not allowed to watch television at night. No, Peter. It's because at night they turn into weird werewolves. No, they don't. Yes, they do. We are snappy, snappy werewolves. <coughs> Time for phase two of Operation Weird Werewolf. Excuse me, Henry. I need to brush my teeth. Henry? You're reading a book. Mm, it's a really interesting book. What's it about? Promise you won't tell. I promise. It's called The Werewolf Spotter's Guide to Spotting Weird Werewolves. Really? I borrowed it from Dad's bookshelf. It's a very scary book. Really? Yep. Tells you all about how to spot a weird werewolf. Ooh. Uh-oh. How long has your hair been like that? Like what, Henry? Like curly. It says here that curly hair is the first sign of turning into a weird werewolf. Does it? Have you uh, noticed any other signs? Um, what kind of signs? Let's see. Second sign of turning into a werewolf. Itchy hands. Third sign is sharp teeth. Have you brushed your teeth yet, boys? Time to brush your teeth, Peter. Yeah. If you dare. Oh. 
all set for bed, honey bunny. Mum, do I look any different to you? Different? No. You're still my perfect little honey bunny. So I don't seem any hairier? <laughs> Actually, your hair has got very curly. Maybe we should cut it soon. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. Bite? Oh, I'm turning into a werewolf! So easy being me, I'm Henry. How's the spoon polishing going, Henry? It's not. Now go away, smelly nappy baby. Ooh, that's a yo-yo. Yeah, I know that. Bet you can't get it to go. Yes, I can. Just watch me. <coughs> See? You can't get it to go. Yes, I can. It's just broken. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Peter, what a big boy you are now. And Henrietta, how very lovely to see you too. Oh, your spoon polishing. How exciting. I used to love doing that when I was a girl. Why don't you run along, Peter, and go and do something teenagery? And here are some chocolates for you to eat while you're doing your teenagery things. Uh, uh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. I see you got a special spinner. Eh? Oh, yeah, Dad gave it to me. Doesn't work, though. Let me see. <laughs> see? It works. Wow, that is so cool. You're really good at it. Well... I didn't win the Teesside Tornado Special Spinners Championship for nothing, you know. In those days, girls weren't allowed to enter the competition. Really? So, what did you do? Well, I just bundled my hair up under a cap and went for it. <laughs> I don't think our Lady Gideantus had ever seen anything like it. <laughs> I bet they hadn't. Just because you're a girl, Henrietta, doesn't mean you can't be a special spinner too. Oh, uh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. Come on, I'll teach you a few tricks before tea time. Cool. I'm going to get a yo-yo of my own. And what's yours called? Oh, this one's special. This one's called a special spinner. Cool. See you tomorrow. That was really good, Henry. Yes, Henry. It's so nice to see kids playing with traditional toys instead of just listening to loud music and playing on the computer. Listen, Henry, I'm making a documentary about this and I'd like you to be in it. Really? On the TV? Yes, on the TV. And you'll be paid for your contribution too, in yo-yos. Cool! It's a deal! So easy being me, come on, Henry! Cool! That worked! Big strategy meeting tonight. Thanks for being the guinea pig worm. <laughs> Hello, sweetie bun. Yes. Going out to join the boys? Yes. Oh, that's nice, dear. What's the matter, Fluffy Wuffy? Did the thunder frighten you? I think it's going to rain. Sorry, I'm late. Just missed the rain. Oh, is it fancy dress? Hey? I am the Merry Magician! Are you now? Well, I like to get up. Is that velvet? Are you open to magicers, Peter? What do you think? I don't know. I like a bit of magic, I do. Oh, 
I don't know if I like magic. Do I or don't I? Oh, oh dear. These carrots are magic. Now you see it? No, no, don't. <laughs> Not sure that's the kind of magic he's talking about, are you? You were saying, Henry? Huh? Ooh, what was I saying? You were going to say something horrid to Peter! <laughs> was I? Well, I don't think I was. Come and sit next to me, Peter. Come on, you can help us plan the raid on old bogey brain next door. Have a biscuit, Peter. Could I have a go? Uh, yes, but be really careful. It's a very special magic wand. It's all right. I know how to handle a magic wand. All magic wands are special. My dad was a magician. Thought you said he was a musician. Magician, musician, all the same thing, really. Gotcha! <laughs> Good day to you, young gentlemen. And how are we today? Very well, thank you, Mr. Sullington. Oh, nice one, Master Ralph. Hey, anyone fancy a quick game before we go in? <laughs> oh, go on then. Just a quick one. Ah, Henry, do come in. We were wondering when you'd get here. Now, girls and boys, where did we get to? Please, miss, we were discussing whether girls are better than boys. Oh, yes, so we were. And had we reached any conclusions? We thought probably boys...